Indian Point situation. So I met her over 20 years ago, and uh, we are uh, keep going. So I like to introduce. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jun-san. Because you have to go to New York. I do. There's an Indian Point uh, presentation there to people in the city. Or I would, I would love to walk with you. Judy Allen is the person who is uh, our, our Indian Point in event coordinator and to help all of you and to support all of you in your walk. And, and Gary Shaw. There won't be walking today. <laughs> but but you'll we'll be, be, I will be up at Peekskill. You will be up at Peekskill. And this is Ellen Saltzman, who is a member of the organizing committee for Monday night. So we really want to support you and to uphold what you're doing and I think it's something that can really make a difference in a very different kind of way. Uh, and will give people, our neighbors and our friends who live around the plant, something different to think about. Uh, when they look at this problem, maybe we'll let them take a breath and breathe and just slow down and look and see beyond tsunamis and earthquakes and think about what's good for our community and what's good for the rest of the world. Well, I think this is an important message for peace and and the message that nuclear power is something we should certainly be living without and it seems to me that what we have been saying in this community for a very long time, which is that there's no fail-safe with nuclear power plants and that when the worst case happens, it's unacceptable on a global basis. And I think that this is the message that's being broadcast today and I hope that it will make people more aware of the ultimate risk of what we do for an energy supply that can't function on its own without government subsidies. The activist uh, around the uh, Bamont Yankee that uh, the governor of uh, Bamont uh, defused uh, to this decision and uh, uh, Bamont Yankee will be closed because uh, uh, Bamont, state of Bamont uh, does not go along with that. That's good. So that's good news. That is very good. Uh, this is uh, our prayer chanting, Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo. Means like uh, uh, any other prayer together. <laughs> so please join us. Modai na Eurasia no daichi ie mo naku hitsuji no mure to sama yoi aruku. Nanimo Oh, 
俺たちの時代おおおしの時代俺たちの時代チェルノブイリー苦い夜も技研視力発電チェルノブイリー苦い夜も技研視力発電ウクライナの空ウクライナの空熱い風が吹き昇る熱い風が吹き昇る死の灰が死の外の空ふるさとの So I'm Mark from FOR in Nyack, New York. We introduce ourselves just to go around. Ellen Saltzman, I live in Yorktown Heights, New York, within the 10 mile evacuation zone of Indian Point. I'm Judy Allen, I live in Putnam Valley, New York, I'm outside the evacuation zone, but we're still scared. Lawrence Sonnell from uh, Tappan, New York, across the river, uh, close enough to get killed. Miriam Wagner from Garrison, New York. My daughter is a neighbor of Chunsan, uh, up in Grafton, and I live within the evacuation range, and I've been very concerned about the spent fuel rod problem at Indian Point for many years. My name is Megu from Japan. Kanbaro. <laughs> My name is Janice Turner. I'm from Mohegan Lake. That's about eight miles from Indian Point, and uh, I'm walking for the planet. Hi, I'm Ron Buell from Yorktown Heights, and we're close enough to uh, know all about this. And uh, spent fuel rods are our main concern. I hope we shut the place down and get rid of the rods. I'm Olivia Buell. I live in Yorktown Heights, 11 miles away, and obviously very concerned about plant in general and evacuation in particular. I'm Jules Ork and I live in northern New Jersey and that's within the 50 mile area, so I'm concerned. <clears throat> Ellen Naney, I live 52 miles upstate um, and we expect you all to show up on our doorstep when it happens. <laughs> uh, my name is Megan McLean, I'm from Albany. I, uh, this past January, went to Japan with Junsun. So this is my first peace walk and definitely won't be my last. Uh, I'm Ken Oaken uh, and I'm uh, walking today and representing uh, the Indian Point Safe Energy Coalition. Uh, and uh, I live about uh, 11 miles from, from the plant and uh, obviously very, very concerned uh, about having uh, such a dangerous uh, situation at our doorstep. Um, so. I'm here to also to uh, support the Walkers for Peace. I'm Lex and I'm from New York City. Yeah, I'm Lex from New York City. Hello. That's all. Uh, from Poughkeepsie, I'm Cenote. 
I'm I'm Kyoko from Japan. I'm Nancy from Essex, Massachusetts. I'm Popo from Ithaca, New York. Shut down Indian Point and all nuclear facilities. My name is Sean Burton. My country is the world, and my apartment happens to be in Albany. I'm Nancy, and I live in Croton, and we want a safe place for ourselves, our children, and our pets. This is Twinkie. I'm, I'm Sarah. I'm from Croton. And my son, Jordan. <laughs> My name is Troublemaker. I try to more Troublemaker. <laughs> Yay! June, thank you everybody walking. And I'm Toby from the Peace Road in Lubbock, Massachusetts, within 20 miles of the Martin Yankee, which will shut down. And we pray that all those nuclear power plants will be shutting down. Thank you. I'm Joey Kato, also from New England, Peace for Uh My name is Yukio from Japan. And uh, we're gonna have uh, same kind of peace walk for Fukushima uh, nuclear power plant and uh, tsunami area uh, in, in this August. So please come to help us. Thank you. So we have 10 minutes break and walk to the gate.
大な国家の名のもとに死の国へと向かう鋼なるちぶさに注がれる死の雨生まれ来る俺たちの子供らよこの雨の中を歩くことしかできないんだこの雨の中を歩くことしかできないんだ死の時代だけど俺たちの時代だから兄弟よ仲間たちよしたくはいいか準備はいいか誇り高いお前の魂を大空に捧げる時が来た俺たちの生まれのままに俺たちの生まれを越えて俺たちの愛のままに俺たちの命のままに俺たちの自由のままに谷間に響く鹿の鳴き声谷間に「誇り高い鹿たちの愛のまま」「森と共に流れゆく」「あまりの道深く」「だけど俺たちの時代だから」「大師の時代だけど俺たちの時代」Na na na na.